So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Beatboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So Ryan Burnett becomes the new IBF Bantamweight Champion after he defeats Lee Haskins by a split decision. If you watch this fight, you know that was no split decision. Ryan Burnett totally dominated Lee Haskins in there, controlled the fight. On my scorecards, he won the fight by 120 to 107. And he totally controlled Lee Haskins. The styles did get tangled up a little bit at times, and there were multiple head clashes. Both men were caught from head clashes. But, yeah, Ryan Burnett just couldn't miss with that lead right hand all night long. He was just hitting... Lee Haskins with it all night long, dropped him twice, dropped him in round 6 and then dropped him again in round 10 or 11. So yeah, very good performance by Ryan Burnett. Typical Adam Booth kind of style though, hands low, jumping in with the lead right hands, but he did it in a very classy way, Ryan Burnett. Very good with his feints and stuff like that and he seemed to work Lee Haskins out very quickly and Lee Haskins has a very awkward, unorthodox southpaw style. But... Um, Lee Haskins went down in the 6th round and then he looked at his corner to signal that he had hurt his arm and I think he did hurt his arm, he told his corner that he hurt his arm and he couldn't really throw anything with his right arm so that put Ryan Burnett in even more control, he was in control anyway but that made him even more in control and it was a very good performance by Ryan Burnett so that split decision is an absolute joke 119-108 to 108 to Lee Haskins, it's not like the judge had it close for Lee Haskins, even that would have been an absolute fucking joke, but the fact that he had it wide, oh, i just never seen anything like that before in boxing, like, it was just totally ridiculous, put some mockery on the sport when judges score fights like that, like, that judge should never judge a fight ever again, but Ryan Burnett, I think he should have a couple um, defences of his title, because he's still very early in his um, professional um, career, so I think he should have a couple of defences and if he gets past them then maybe look at unifications against guys like um, Solani Tete, somebody like that, he's based in the UK, he's with Frank Warren I know Ryan Minnett's with Eddie Hearn and he don't tend to work with Frank Warren but maybe they could come up with some sort of deal for the, a unification fight between Burnett and Tete for the future, you also have the WBC champion the Japanese fighter Yamanako so it is an interesting division and I think Ryan Burnett is a world level fighter so it'll be interesting to see how he gets on in his career but that ju that scorecard was just absolutely ridiculous but anyway comment below in the comment section were you disgusted by that scorecard like I was I think everyone was really but yeah comment below in the comment section